Hello everybody. So in this video, I want to talk about Sconet. Okay, this stock today move up uh with momentum. Okay, this is last night closing 16th of June. Today, July, uh, sorry, not July, 17th of June, we see an increase in trading volume. Let me pull up the charts to show you. Okay, increased volume in Sconet. Uh, I'll go over to my other screen to show you. Okay, right here. Oops, right here. Okay, so this is Scomnet. What is it doing today? Okay, so you can see that um, 17th of June increase in volume very early in the day, and you have got a strong upward movement in surplus of 10% uh, right now. Okay, 1.14, 10% right now. And now, its earnings will be out soon, sometimes before 30th of June. Okay, that it was the extension given by Bursa due to the COVID-19. So all the listed companies that couldn't report in May can, ex can, can be uh, granted an extension to 30th of June to report their earnings. Okay, so scope net. Uh, before the earnings is out, we only have two more weeks, so it is very, very uh, interesting to see the share price went up. Now, the problem is, it's now trading at 114, 115, so it's very close to the previous peak, and it failed at the previous peak. Okay, so if we were to buy here, uh, is there any more upside for Scomnet? This is where we need to look at the earnings. Okay, if you click on this FA, you launch your earnings. Uh, no, not earnings. The FA information about Scomnet from the ESP Master itself, the new ESP Master uh, Pro Edition. So this is a company information. You can see that uh, they are involved in the medical field. Okay, providing wires, cables uh, for surgeries. So okay, something to put into your body to connect. Uh, you know, equipment to your body, right? So this is the product. And I must say that for Scomnet, their health check is very superb, okay? You can see that they practically have very low debt, which is very good, and it's in a very strong financial uh, state, okay? And, okay, this is when you see red color, they no good, okay? You see orange means average, but average doesn't mean no good, average means stable, and you see their revenue, income, operation, health check is excellent. So this company, based on the annual uh, growth, is good. And let's take a look at the trailing 12 months. Okay, you can also go and look at the quarter, yeah, but I'm focusing on today how to calculate earnings per share. So trailing 12 months, you can see the earnings per share and operating income has been growing higher and higher and higher. So this next quarter, 2020 Q1, we expect an even stronger growth due to this COVID-19 situation, which uh, hasn't reports yet. Okay, so this is the earnings uh, per share. The second row, you can see that the last quarter, 2019 Q4, the trailing EPS is 29 uh, cent. 20 cents, no, uh, 2 nine cents. <laughs> How do I say this? Okay, it's a uh, 2.9 cents. Yes, yeah, 2.9 cents. Okay, so it's 2.9 cents. Uh, let's take a look at my Excel over here prepared for you. So this is the EPS earnings per share. So it's doing 0 0.029, 2 2.9 cents. My last time price is 1.15 now. Okay, 1.15 now. So how much is the PE? Okay, so PE. Let me do this together with you so that you understand how to do it. PE equals to your last time price divided by, hey, sorry, sorry, your last time price, this cell, divided by the earnings per share, the trading earnings per share. That means based on the last time price now, 1.15, you are looking at the PE. PE means what? Shit, forgot. Every time I say PE, PE, I forgot the, the main term for it. Uh, price earning, yes, price earning ratio. PE price earning ratio of 39 times, okay, 39 times. The price is now showing a 39 times of its earnings per share, trailing 12 months. What about next quarter, the upcoming quarterly report? So how do we see this, okay? Um, let's say we maintain the PE, okay, and I expect the earnings per share to grow by a 20%, okay, which is, uh, let's see the table again. Okay, so this is the earnings per share growth. So you can see that um, it grew quarter three, 2018 grew 63 times. Okay, so it's 3%. And then the last quarter is what is most important because this has all happened already. So the last quarter is more important. So last quarter, it grew 15.6%. Okay, so the first quarter 2020, I'm just going to make a very conservative uh, projection that it makes 20% more than the, oops, 20% more than the 
uh, previous trading 12 months earnings per share. Okay, so you get a uh, 3.48 cents. Okay, that means if Scopenet is to report 20% better business, okay, so the earnings per share, I'm expected it to grow to 3.48 cents. So now what is the price objective? Okay, so you take the reverse formula, right? Uh, this multiply earnings per share multiply by 40 times. Okay, so if Scomnet make uh, earnings per share growth of 20%, just 20%, you can, the share price based on 40 times PE is at least at one ringgit and 39 cents. Okay, so the share price now is 1.15, 1.14. So we shall look forward to its uh, quarterly earnings report in the next two weeks. Okay, to see if it can achieve this growth. If it cannot achieve this growth, this is no longer important. Okay, so this growth is important. And my assumption here is I'm still using 40 times PE because for, uh, PE can drop. Let's say PE due to uh, US, you know, go crazy, drop again 35 times. And then you are looking at 1.21. Okay, so this is the wild card here. This is the assumption. This is the assumption. 20% growth in EPS and we maintain a 40 times PE market expectation for Scomnet. Then you shall see 1.39 at least. Okay, so this is uh, how we analyze the uh, earnings per share. Okay, thank you very much. So I hope all these videos uh, is proving useful to you in your education. So if you can do me a favor, share this video out to your friends. Okay, to your friends, to, to anybody who needs it. Okay, especially those friends who, who are interested in trading. So please share our Facebook, uh, like our YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube link as well. Okay, uh, you can do this for all companies, basically all companies that has got visible uh, earnings growth. Okay, thank you very much and I will see you at the next video. Bye. Please subscribe our YouTube channel. And open the bell to get the notification of our new video. Also like and follow our Facebook page.